In this video, I will demonstrate how to crop an image or vector artwork using an opacity mask. An opacity mask provides greater versatility for your cropped image and non-destructive editing, but is a little more involved than a clipping mask. Here I have a placed photograph. This could also be a copy and pasted image or even pre-existing vector artwork, but for our purposes, we'll use a simple photo. Next, I'll draw a rectangle around the area I want to crop. For an opacity mask, white means the image will be opaque, and black means the image will be completely transparent. Grays indicate a fade from opaque to transparent. For this example, we'll use basic white so the photograph is simply cropped. Open the transparency panel by going to Window, Transparency. Make sure you have all of the options available to you by clicking on the little arrows to the left of the heading. Select both the image and the shape by clicking the image, holding down shift, and clicking the shape, or by drag selecting. To create an opacity mask, go to the transparency panel, click the make mask button, and be sure the clip box is checked. Now I'd like to show you some of the more in-depth features of an opacity mask. In the transparency palette, there are icons representing the photo and the mask path. If you click on the link button between them, you can manipulate each independently of the other. I can move around the image within the mask path, or change the mask path itself. You can easily manipulate the opacity of the image with this dropdown. Let's create a fade on the image. First, release the objects in the transparency palette. Now we'll fill our rectangle with a gradient from white to black. Next, we'll make another opacity mask. Our image now fades out. You can also change the blending mode in the transparency panel. Here's what the multiply mode looks like. I've placed a shape behind the image so we can see the effect. Opacity masks allow you to create complex arrangements of blend modes and knockouts with your cropped images, giving you more freedom than a simple clipping mask. For a more quick and dirty method, check out the Cropping with Clipping Masks video.